the world has a strange sense of humor. Two islands, two names, in a truth that feels almost deliberately reversed. Because Greenland is a frozen white desert, and Iceland is draped in green valleys and warm volcanic breath. It's almost as if someone switched the labels on purpose. And they did. Around 874 AD, a Norse explorer named Flaki Vilgardarsson traveled to Iceland. During his stay, one harsh winter, he saw a fjord full of drifting ice. He named the island Iceland because of that icy sight. But here's the twist. Iceland is actually quite green during summer, with mild temperatures, grasslands, and volcanic warmth. So the name came from bad timing, not from the island's true climate. Then in 982 AD came Eric the Red, a man exiled from Iceland for murder, banished to wander the northern shadows until he reached an island swallowed in eternal ice, a place where the wind howled like a beast and the land lay frozen under miles of white. No one in their right mind would follow him there, but Eric was clever and dangerous. He gave this icy wasteland a warm, inviting name, Greenland, the land of green, a lie dressed like a promise, a name meant to lure settlers into a frozen trap. Two names, two lands, one accident and one lie. And now the world is stuck with a map where nothing is what it seems.